Hello, I'm Robert Rojas. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how the early parsing algorithm works. I will illustrate the algorithm by parsing a simple sentence using a very simple grammar. Let's start now. Early parsing is a parsing technique that also uses dynamic programming. It is a top-down parsing and does not need the grammar to be converted into the Chomsky normal form or CNF. Since it does not need to be converted into CNF, it is possible that the grammar productions may have left recursive productions. It is also possible that our grammar is ambiguous. But even in these situations, the early parser can still solve these problems. This parsing technique maintains a chart at every stage of the input. It employs the so-called dotted rule to indicate the position of the current processing. This technique has three operations namely, predicting, scanning, and completing. Its operators are usually called predictor, scanner, and completer, respectively. The predictor operator creates new states representing top-down expectations generated during the parsing process. Predictor is applied to any state that has a non-terminal immediately to the right of its dot, which is not a part of speech category as shown in the screen. One new state for every alternative expansion of a non-terminal will be created. Of course, the productions are already existing in the grammar. The same chart entry as the generating state will hold these new states. The scanner operator is called to check the input or incorporate a state corresponding to the predicted word with a particular part of speech into the chart when a state has a part of speech category to the right of the dot. This is accomplished by creating a new state from the input state with the dot advanced over the predicted category. When its dot has reached the right end of the rule, the completer is applied to a state. The presence of such a state represents the fact that the parser has successfully discovered a particular grammatical category over some span of the input. Its purpose is to find and advance all previously created states that were looking for this grammatical category at this position in the input. New states are then created by copying the older state, advancing the dot over the expected category, and installing the new state in the current chart entry. Let's demonstrate this early parsing algorithm by way of example now. Suppose we are going to parse the sentence, Christ opened the eyes, using the simple grammar shown on the screen. How does the early parser work? The first thing to do is to create an extra production is prime derives s, and this becomes its seed. The parsing will start from here, and let's make a chart with the state number as its chart number, that is chart zero. The first word to parse is Christ. The initial configuration is shown in the screen. As can be seen, the dot is before s. This means that initially, it predicts a sentence and it has not encountered the sentence yet. Please note that the number under the chart end column indicates the starting chart number and the ending chart number respectively. Let's start processing ID0. For easy reference, the ID number that is being processed is highlighted in magenta. The grammar symbols involved in the processing are highlighted in red. Since it predicts a sentence that is dot before s, the s production is added to the chart as shown in the screen. As can be seen in the chart, a sentence predicts a noun phrase that is a dot before NP VP in ID number 1. Since the dot is before NP, we need to bring all the NP productions as the possible productions that can be encountered later. The result is shown in the screen. In ID number 2, it is supposed to predict a noun because the dot is before the non-terminal N. Since a noun is a part of speech category, instead of predicting for a noun, it scans the grammar for a possible match with the input word, for example, Christ, of the sentence that is being parsed. The result is shown in the screen. Now the dot of the production of ID number 2 has shifted to the end of the production, that is, NP derives N dot, as shown in the screen. It is because the completer operator was applied. It means to say, that the grammar symbol N can be completed because it has encountered the input word Christ. This in turn completes the production NP derives N. This is accomplished by ID number 5 
and this ID number is stored in the back pointer column. We will use this back pointer later. Since the production np derives n has been completed already, we can now move the dot before np in the previous chart to the right of np in chart 1. There are two of them. One is id number 1 and the other is id number 4 of chart 0. Since we are dealing with np only, the back pointer is 6 for both of them because they are accomplished by id number 6. The result is shown in the screen. Since id number 7 has a dot before vp, then we have to add all the vp productions in chart 1 as shown in the screen. Then we have to process id number 8. Since id number 8 has a dot before the pp, then we have to add all the pp productions in chart 1. Fortunately, we only have one. The result is shown on the screen. Then we have to process id number 9. Since id number 9 has a dot before v, then we are supposed to add all the v productions in chart 1. But because v is a part of speech category, instead of predicting, it should scan the grammar to check whether or not the input word opened is present. The result is shown in the screen. Since the v production has been completed, we can now shift the dot to the right of v of chart 1. All are completed by id number 13 as shown in the screen. Since the VP production has been completed by ID number 14, we can now shift the dot to the right of VP of chart 0. This tells us that we have already scanned a sentence. But so far, what has been scanned is just a phrase, Christ opened. It has no direct object yet, so the parsing must continue. The result is shown in the screen. Let's process ID number 15. Since the dot is to the left of NP, we need to add all NP productions to chart 2, as shown in the screen. The next to be processed is ID number 16. Since the dot is to the left of NP, we need to add all NP productions to chart 2. But all the NP productions that need to be added are already in chart 2. So, no NP productions are added to the chart as shown in the screen. The next to be processed is ID number 18. Since the input word is not a noun, and our grammar does not have the word the as a noun, then there is no match. So ID number 19 will be processed next. This time, that is a part of speech category again. It will scan the grammar to check whether or not the input word the is found. The result is shown in the screen. Since that has been completed, we can now shift the dot to the right of that for the production found in ID number 19 of chart 2 as shown in the screen. Let's process ID number 22 of chart 3. Since the dot is to the left of NP, we need to add all NP productions to chart 3 as shown in the screen. Let's process ID number 23 of chart 3. This time, the dot is to the left of N, and N is a part of speech category. So it will scan the grammar to check whether or not the input word eyes is found. The result is shown in the screen. Since there is a match for the noun eyes, we can now move the dot to the right of n and complete that np production as shown in the screen. We can now shift the dot to the right of np of chart 3 because np has been completed by id number 27 as shown in the screen. We can also shift the dot to the right of np of chart 2 because np has been completed by id number 28 as shown in the screen. Let's process ID number 29. Since the dot is to the left of PP, then the PP production is added to chart 4 as shown in the screen. Since VP has been completed by ID number 30, we can now shift the dot of the production S derives NP.VP of chart 1 to the right of VP as shown in the screen. We ought to process ID number 31 because there is a dot to the left of PP. But the PP production is already in chart 4. So we move to ID number 32 because there is a dot to the left of PREP. But since PREP is a part of speech category, we need to find a match from the grammar. But since there is no more input word to match, then the parsing is over. As can be seen, the production S has been completed with a dot to the right of VP. Therefore, we have a successful parsing. Let us now create the parse tree. 
Let's start from the starting non-terminal S. ID number 33 has S derives NP, VP, dot. Its starting state is 0, that is chart 0, and its ending state is 4, that is chart 4. The back pointer tells us that NP was completed by ID number 6 and VP was completed by ID number 30. So we put the NP as the left child of S and VP as the right child of S. We know that this NP was derived from ID number 6. So let us check ID number 6 and get the ID number that completed this NP, that is ID number 5. The result is shown on the screen. Now ID number 5 tells us that N derives Christ was found in the production rules. The result now is shown on the screen. Now VP has ID number 30, which has the production VP derives V in P dot. The back pointers tell us that V was completed in ID number 13 and in P was completed in ID number 28. The result is now shown on the screen. Now ID number 13 tells us that the V derives open was found in the production rules. The result now is shown on the screen. Now NP has ID number 28, which has the production NP derives death NP dot. The back pointers tell us that death was completed in ID number 21 and NP was completed in ID number 27. The result is shown on the screen. Now ID number 21 tells us that the death derives da was found in the production rules. The result now is shown on the screen. Now we know that this NP was derived from ID number 27. So let us check ID number 27 and get the ID number that completed this NP. That is ID number 26. The result is shown on the screen. Now ID number 26 tells us that the N derives I's was found in the production rules. The result now is shown on the screen. So the resulting parse tree was generated by S derives NP VP, NP derives N, N derives Christ, VP derives V in P, V derives open, N P derives death in P, death derives the, N P derives N, and N derives eyes. And there we go. We have the correct parse tree for the sentence Christ opened the eyes. I hope you have a working knowledge now as to how the early parser works. Thank you very much. I hope this lecture notes in audiovisual form has helped you in some way in understanding abstract machines in your computer science journey. Bye!